Hello, I'm Paul Wilson. I'm a technical consultant for Denwa. Today we're going to go through the installation of Mitel's Microlab client version 6 on a Windows 7 desktop PC. When the server has been installed and commissioned, all the users should have been configured and the user should receive a welcome email showing the login ID, the desk phone and soft phone extension numbers, voice mailbox access and mailbox number, links to documentation and the link for the Microlab client desktop client download. If we click this link the system should open a web browser window and start the download. If local security settings prevent the link being opened directly click continue to this website and then click run. The installer should start Click Next. Accept the license agreement. Click Next again. Choose Typical Install and click Next. On a normal installation, it's unnecessary to choose Custom Install or Complete Install, so we'll choose Typical. The next page asks us for the MyCalab client service host name and default language. We'll set the language to English UK and for the host name, refer back to the welcome email. The host name is listed as part of the URL, in this case, michaelab.denwacoms.local. michaelab.denwacoms.local. Click Next. And then click Install to start the installation process. The installation usually takes about one, two minutes, We'll just need to watch the status bar for a moment until it completes. Once the installation finishes, make sure Launch MicroLab Client ticked and then click Finish. The MicroLab Client should start automatically at this point. The splash screen for MicroLab appears and the application should launch. When we first install MicroLab Client, we'll need to log into it. The login ID is shown in the welcome email, and the password is usually sent as a separate email. If you're not sure what the password is, contact the system administrator, and it can be reset to something specific. We usually use firstname.surname. In this case, Paul.Wilson. Make sure Remember Me and Log Me in automatically is ticked, and then click Login. On first login, the system will prompt you to change the password. Enter the current password, paul.wilson, and the new password. The new password has to follow quite strict restrictions. By default, 8 to 20 characters in length, not too simple, contain at least one uppercase, one lowercase letter, one number, and one non-alphanumeric character. re-enter the password and click OK. If it displays connection lost, don't worry, after a few seconds that should disappear and reconnect to the server. Once we've logged in, we should have the basic MicroLab client window open and we can start to use the software. In another video, we'll go through the basic features of MicroLab and cover some basic setup of the application itself. Thank you.